Welcome, my good friends, to tradcatnight.blogspot.com. Be sure to subscribe right here to Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all of the day's church and end-time news featured all over alternative media, keeping you up to date on all of the latest as we get closer to the fruition of the third secret of Fatima, which entails the formal schism in Rome and Planet X's more near passing. Now this uh, opportunity, if you will, or suggestion or idea came about a few weeks ago by Jen C. Uh, and it came about again from Emil in Denmark uh, again today. And so I thought about it a little bit this afternoon and wanted to run this opportunity by everyone. I posted it on my Facebook as well. If you would like to create your own website and or forum and simply link it to my website, I can do that. I can create a link or a page, if you will, and I can label it Trad Cat Night Communities, if you will, and I can label or put everyone's website onto that page so people who are looking in whatever demographic of the world that they are have and, and uh, know that there is a community of like-minded individuals, if if you could, uh, you know, put it that way. And I think all of you see just how close we are to certain events, and who knows what priest will wake up, what priest won't. So <clears throat> maybe if you've got something established there, you, you will get a priest there, and they'll obviously know who uh, we are based upon uh, the name that we have already solidified now in the tra traditional Catholic community. And uh, you can kind of go from there. So, again, you can create your own website and just, you know, post our daily information. Now, you've got to manage it. I can't manage anything on, on your end. Uh, so you have to manage it, and you would have to abide by the rules uh, of Trad Cat Night. So you've got to monitor it, uh, moderate, if you will. No, you know, pro-Vatican II nonsense. No heretical Diamond Brother anti-Catholic or anti-Eric nonsense. Uh, you got to stay on top of that. And... Uh, we can do it in that sense. Now, again, this is all in an effort to be a bit more organized, if you will, and I think that's a good way of being proactive. So uh, Jen and Emil, I think, are spot on there. I mean, we could put it out there and just kind of see uh, where the wind blows. Certainly, uh, it can't hurt to try. Now, what you could do <clears throat> in terms of a website name um, is put Trad Cat Night and then whatever you know demographics you are. So... You know, if you're Denmark, let's say for Emma, it would be trad, trad cat night, uh, Denmark, uh, dot com. Or if you're going to do a forum, uh, then you would simply label it as such that, just Trad Cat Night Denmark. And by the way, if you're looking, I think, and I'm not sure, I think there are still some available opportunities for you to create your own free website. If not, there's usually anywhere between 5 and 10 bucks a month, which is... Uh, you know nothing at all and again you'll always be linked to my page and if we are able to get this thing rolling I'll probably keep it more at the top of the page so that everyone can kind of filter and try to find a, a you know a like-minded uh, community but again you want to put it per uh, demographics uh, it's all in an effort to be a little bit more structured and organized what you'd have to do is actually create the website first you know kind of let me look at it. and obviously I, I will from time to time look at it just to make sure you're, you know you're kind of moderating and uh, make, making sure that there's no goofiness uh, going on or whatever. But, you know, if you post your, your own information, obviously you want to move Trad Cat Knight's blogs onto your page uh, as well so we can kind of, like, spider this thing out. You know, obviously running off of my main website, but now break it down into your own demographics, create your own website or page, and I will link everyone uh, to it from my uh, main page. As a matter of fact, I could probably even link it to the free forums page as well um, so there's different ways that I can actually link your website or link to it and then again you can you know post the information uh, that you want uh, and uh, so we can stay a bit more structured if you got any questions uh, further about that maybe about the websites or how forums are run uh, you can contact me at apostle of Mary at hotmail.com but there are a couple of free forums that you could use i think freeforums.org proboards.com i mean you could simply go to google and type this in just type in free forums <clears throat> and you could literally create your own you know free forum page what i would advise based off of that is you start your own 
uh, group on Facebook. For I know a good number of you have uh, Facebook pages, so you can simply start a group. Just put it, put Trad Cat Night Denmark or something like that. Again, you got to moderate it, so you got to stay on top of this yourself. Uh, but then just link everyone to your website and or your free forum from there. And again, I'll branch it off from my main website so that when people come and they say, hey, well, you know, is there a community here or here or here? I mean, it could be readily right in front of us. And, and maybe at that point in time later down the road, things will be well well established enough so to where there is more communication, to where there is more a little bit more organized and structure. And I, I think that's being proactive. So I think Gen C and, and Emil are spot on. Can't hurt to try. Like I said, we can kind of just take it from there. Again, I, I am too busy to... You know, I, I can answer questions, but I can't moderate it. I can't run your website or anything like that. So uh, get back to me. Let me know what you think. Again, if you're the United States, you obviously don't want to put like Trad Cat Night United States. I mean, you're going to want to do like, you know, Trad Cat Night New York City, Trad Cat Night, you know, Los Angeles, Trad Cat Night, whatever city. You know, it'd probably be best to do it per city. Uh, and then maybe, you know, on the international scene, you know, even with. Denmark. I mean, I don't know how many major cities would be there. It'd probably be safer just to put Trad Cat Night Denmark. Um, but nevertheless, you get the idea. Just run, run my, uh, run your ideas by me, and I'll get back to you. You know, create your website or your forum, submit it to me at Apostle of Mary at Hotmail .com. You know, get it all structured and get it all organized and good looking, and then I'll probably, after at least getting maybe two or three of these. Uh, create an actual official page called Trad Cat Night Communities. I'll post it at the top uh, of the page. And that way, again, better for communication, better for people staying in touch with one another. And again, you know, even within the context of a forum, you could basically post whatever information you like. Again, you just, you do still have to follow the rules of Trad Cat Night. I mean, obviously, uh, no anti Catholic rants, you know, no anti. Eric Rantz, no Diamond Brother nonsense, no Nova Sordo Watch nonsense, none of the haters out there, none of that stuff. So you're going to have to really stay on top of that yourself. Uh, obviously, no Vatican II stuff. <clears throat> and then just continue to build your format, and hopefully you can get uh, your own little sub-community uh, going there, if you will. Again, any questions, submit them to me at apostleofmary at hotmail.com. Make sure you get to... Uh, tradcatnight.blogspot.com on a daily basis on the right hand side there's a plethora of information so make sure you're utilizing those resources and links new blog uh, the new blog uh, excuse me the new poll question is up just came out about three or four days ago there's a blog archive there lots of information uh, going out on a daily basis you know 15 plus articles and so much going on here today. Keep me in prayer. I'm a little sick, been sick for the past 48 hours, uh, but I'm going to try to do a few more videos uh, tonight for you all. Please do keep me in prayer, and until next time, stay safe and God bless. And if you have any other ideas, by the way, submit them to me. I mean, this is this is a great idea. Uh, it's come up several times now in the past uh, week or two, and uh, let's let's see what happens. Let's let's go with it. Ave Maria. <clears throat>